there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a very quick look at the new phone screen option in the Your Phone app on Windows 10. So this is currently in testing with a very small subset of insiders, this will roll out to more people over time. But for now it's in preview and it's very early preview so not everything is working just yet. Today we can show you the phone screen on the device itself but more advanced features such as being able to interact with the phone through the app isn't working just yet that will be coming in a future update so if we click on display phone screen here it will connect to my phone and in just a second, you'll see my phone's home screen. Now, like I said, in the shipping version of this, you will be able to tap on things and type with your PC. Uh, but right now that's not working. So I actually have to use the phone to interact with my phone. Um, but let's just pretend we're using our keyboard and mouse to do all of this, because that will be a function of this feature when it's done. So we are on the phone here. I can swipe up to go to my apps list. I can press the home button to go home. I can open the search bar here and start typing. Hello there. And do pretty much anything I'd normally do on my phone. And the whole point of this feature is um, so you can interact with your phone without disrupting your workflow. So let's imagine you are working on something on your PC, you're working very hard, but your phone is on the other side of the room or in another room or somewhere not on you or near you. And there's something you need to check on your phone, but you don't want to disrupt your workflow. Well, now you can open up the Your Phone app and just connect to it and you can now interact with your phone through the app instead. So it doesn't interrupt your workflow as much. You are still using your mouse and keyboard and stuff and you can interact with your phone. So if, if I want to, I can swipe up here to launch Snapchat. And now I'm running Snapchat on my PC, which is very exciting. Press home here, I can launch another app. Let's launch the Play Store. I can download an app here if I want to. Let's download WhatsApp, install. And that will begin to download like that. So open up Edge and go to a website. Let's go to Windows Central. Dot com. There we go. And it works pretty nicely. Let's press home again. The latency isn't terrible. In fact, I'd say it's quite fast. Um, if we go up to a game here, now Doodle Jump isn't the most intense game in the world, I, I admit. As you can see here, I'm playing the game uh, and um, I'm not doing too terrible. Now, naturally, I'm bad at this game, um, but uh, you can see here, I'm keeping up quite well. Now, obviously, this will depend on the, your device and whatnot, but um, as I said, the, the Latency isn't too terrible. I'm about to press on the apps list button now, and there's the apps list. I press home now, and there I am home. It's almost instant, at least it feels almost instant, which is fantastic. So there are a couple of options here. If we go up to the top here, you'll see that there's a landscape option, which changes the orientation of the device. So now we're running a landscape, we can turn it back into portrait. There's also this option that does absolutely nothing right now. I have no idea what's planned for that. Uh, then there's this option here, which uh, takes you to the physical keyboard area on your phone. I assume this will allow you to tweak and customize how your PC interacts with your phone once the keyboard and mouse input is working. And then you have the disconnect button here like that. And that's pretty much it for now. Like I said, over time, more features will be added to this. But for now, it acts as a very basic sort of streaming feature to your phone so you can see your phone screen and whatnot. But there you have it, guys. That's a very quick look at the new phone screen option in the Your Phone app coming soon to everybody, but right now in testing with insiders. Thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.